While the rail issues are easing, farmers and lawmakers are looking for ways to prevent future problems with high prices and shortages of rail cars. That's why the Surface Transportation Board will now be required to make mandatory their weekly reports on rail service. We'll keep working with the, the STB and, and with the, the railroads. Um, creating as much transparency as possible. And lawmakers also continue to reform the STB regulatory process. And there are some other reforms that we think would give them more tools uh, to deal with proactively some of the challenges that come up with regard to rail service rather than reacting after the fact. The good news is the railroads have made some progress on rail service and green transportation. To their credit, the railroads have been making some significant investments, uh, you know, both in uh, cars and, and I think in power. Yet with the huge demand, the system must be better managed or it costs everyone in the food chain from the farmer to the consumer. I'm Michelle Rook reporting. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by Minnesota Soybean Farmers and their Soybean Checkoff.